Hey everyone, Matt here on the Vinyl Head UK channel and today I've got another vinyl appreciation video for you guys. So, last week I went on a bit of a raid of the Earache Records store online and I've picked myself up a few new records, really enjoying spinning them. If you've seen my Instagram page, you'll probably already know what I got, I've been showing them off a little bit on there. But one of those records is from a band that I've been a fan of for a while now. When this album first came out, I got it pretty soon after. It's a band I've seen quite a few times. It's a band that I actually, uh, it was one of my last gigs I got to see live before COVID came, way back when. Um, but this band, it's a, a fresh kind of crossover sound. And that band is... Municipal Waste, with their third album, The Art of Partying. So this was released back in 2007. I can't believe that this album is already nearly 15 years old already. I do not know where the time has gone since this record came out. I remember picking it up on CD and listening to it that first time. But it is a 2007 record. This is a 2019 reissue. It was put out, as I say, by Earache Records. Hence why I picked it up from the Earache store along with a few other things. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, it is definitely a fresh crossover band, a fresh crossover sound. Municipal Waste, if you like, um, bands like Anthrax with that sort of uh, early sort of fun sound. Uh, and uh, how would I describe it? Sort of, um, sort of not comedic lyrics, but more on the sort of light-hearted side compared to some of the darker sounds and lyrical content coming from other bands. So Anthrax, but then also DRI, SOD, Suicidal Tendencies, bands like that. You've got that crossover sound. You've got the gang vocals at times. So yeah, if you love bands like that, Municipal Waste is for you. So this record is back when they were a four piece. Obviously they've added a second guitarist in now of Nick. Um, but for this record, we have Tony Foresta on vocals, Ryan Waste on guitar, and then Phil Hall or Landfill as he's known on bass. And then Dave Witt on drums. So this was the album that got me into Municipal Waste. As I say, I heard uh, Headbanger Face Rip. I was like, this is such a great song. I saw a video and whatnot. And the band I was playing drums with at the time, uh, we all went out and picked up this record and we used to listen to it a lot. My friends away from the band used to listen to it a lot. And we just used to have a good time. It's an album that you crank up at a party and you just have a wild time, you know, just have fun. It's a short album, it's like 30 minutes long, so there are 15 tracks on it, so, you know, you can work out the maths on it. It's in your face throughout, there's no let up, there's no ballads, if you're looking for ballads, you won't find it. Um, should we have a look at it? So, it's a very kind of thrashy, album cover right there it's uh that imagery you kind of sort of associate a little bit with fresh and maybe deaf as well a little bit but definitely with fresh mel um with parties and alcohol and we've got zombies you know there's right there there's lyrical themes straight out from a fresh band the crossover bands um but got the big municipal ways logo uh we've got a pie that kind of looks like it's gone a little bit south people have been chemically altered so which that is actually the inspiration kind of for the artwork there so there is a track called chemically altered and uh this is i guess a visual representation of that song people have i guess drunk from this keg and it's not ended up too well this guy's being ripped apart it's it's just it's not a good thing really we flip it over, we see the remains of the party, we see some uh, bodies, the keg has been smashed, the pool is now green. Just the whole place has been destroyed. We got our track list inside A and inside B, as I say it's 15 tracks. Uh, the biggest barcode we've ever seen on a record. If you've got uh, Discogs, 
and you've got the app and you've got your little barcode scanner, you're not going to miss that bad boy set up there. No way. Inside the record, uh, there's not too much to it, to be honest. The inner sleeve is our lyric sheet front and back. As you can see, uh, there's no band info. There's no pictures, anything like that. If you're new to Municipal Waste and you pick this record up based on this really cool artwork, uh, you're probably not going to learn too much about the band itself. You're going to hear them and get the feel of the sound and the lyrics and whatnot, but that's about it, really. It's quite plain. The record itself goes along with that. It is quite plain. It's just that black label on black vinyl right there. Uh, you can see band name, we've got Earache Records, track listing, name of the record. All quite basic on that black label right there. So yeah, not really a lot to it in all honesty. As I say, this is a 2019 reissue. I don't know what the original pressing was like, uh, if it came with anything else. But a nice solid inner sleeve to it. It's a little bit staticky. It's not the worst one that I own in terms of static, um, but yeah, a little bit, so you will need to give it a little bit of a clean. It does pick up dust and debris quite easily. Uh, but yeah, so, track listing. Let's look at our 15 tracks. Um, so, the side A, we have Pre-Game, The Art of Partying, Headbanger Face Rip, Mental Shock, ADD, which is a Attention Deficit Destroyer, the inebriator, lunch hall, food brawl, and beer pressure. We flip it onto B, chemically altered, sadistic magician, open your mind, radioactive force, septic detonation, rigorous vengeance, and born to party closing it off, which was re-recorded um, from an earlier record. As I say, it's like half hour, so there's no let up. It's just riff, 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 riff. Um, you know, when you go and see Municipal Waste live, it's the same, you know, it's a hell of a set list when you look at it on paper, but then when your tracks are like a minute and a half, two minutes each, it's not too hard to get through, you know, a lot of tracks in an hour or so of set list. Um, I've had some good time seeing Municipal Waste, as I say, uh, the band that I was in back in the day, around this time, we went and checked them out, we saw them, uh, in Dudley, of all places, right? at JB's. Does anyone remember JB's? Um, we saw some couple of good thrash gigs there. We saw Destruction play to next to no one. Maybe that's why Destruction never want to come back to the UK. And then Municipal Waste we saw there as well. We got up on stage for them uh, when they did uh, Born to Party at the end. I remember Ryan Waste was just kept telling us, watch the mic, man, watch the mic. He's not from New York. I don't know why that sounded like he was from New York. Um, and yeah, we saw him there. I've seen him at Bloodstock when they were having the crazy record to beat uh, crowd surfers. Like going for the Guinness World Record of crowd surfers. I saw him at Download. If anyone's checked out my Download 08 video, they had the circle pits going on the concrete. And people get falling over the big cord protectors and just people going down. Um, yeah, some great time seeing Municipal Waste. I always enjoy seeing them. And as I say, it was one of the last gigs I got to see before COVID hit. Uh, we had, ske uh, yeah, Skeletal Remains, I think it was, and Toxic Holocaust as well on that bill. That was a great night. And you, you know, you know what you're going to get at Municipal Waste show. It's just going to be wild. Um, a lot of crowd surfing, a lot of stage diving, and just a good time. Just a real good time. I remember as well watching uh creator with the drummer dave witt uh and sharing a beer or two with dave witt and he's a good guy he's a real good guy and we had a good chat about drums about thrash about creator so yeah dave so how does this record sound um track wise as i say i've mentioned the bands that i think influence these guys you look at anthrax um, DRI, SOD, bands like that. You can definitely hear that in the sound. There's some great riffs throughout. There's no solos as such. It's just riff, 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 fast riff throughout. Um, for me, my favourites, Headbanger Face Rip, 
Uh, do, 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 what else? Beer pressure. Sadistic magician. That bass intro. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, septic detonation as well. Just, there's some really great riffs. You can bang your head along to this album for half an hour and you won't get bored. There's no filler. It's just mm, straight to the point. Sound-wise, in terms of a record itself, now, when I put it on and pre-game started, which is uh, just a short sort of minute-long intro before we kick straight into the art partying, I was like, whoa, this sounds great. Um, it sounds quite dynamic. The soundstage sounds pretty good. And it kind of stopped at that when we cut into the art of party and that kind of went away and it doesn't sound very analog to me. It sounds digital. I don't know what the uh, earlier pressings would have sounded like, but this does sound kind of digital. Um, it's got a nice bit of volume to it. Having said that though, I had to turn it down a little bit on Beer Pressure and Born to Party, which are the last two tracks on both sides, because distortion started to come through a little bit on it, which was a little bit disappointing. Not to the point where it made it horrible to listen to, it was still listenable, but you could definitely hear distortion coming through on those tracks as we got further and further towards the middle of a record there. You could hear on those two tracks the distortion coming through, more so on beer pressure, then on uh, Born to Party. But yeah, the, just the riffs came just a little bit distorted, um, which was a shame, really. But, you know, it's not unbearable. It's manageable. I'd like to hear if they do another pressing in the future or go back and revisit first pressings and see if it affects that. I don't know if that's just a thing from earache. Um, I wouldn't say it is too much like hearing my other earache records that I picked up last week. Having listened to those, I haven't listened to them as much. I wanted to focus on this one first, ready for this video. But it doesn't sound too much distortion on those, but I have to sort of dig in a little bit more. And hopefully it's not a theme of earache if you guys have picked up anything from earache how does it sound drop me a comment as normal let me know but yeah municipal waste the art of parting in my humble opinion the best record these guys have put out uh the one that i think got everybody invested in the band it brought people to the dance but uh there we have it, Municipal Ways, the art of partying. A great, fresh crossover record. Thanks again for watching. Go and hit subscribe. I've had some new subscribers this week, which is great. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't seen a video before and you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. We want to build this channel up as much as possible. Hit the bell for all notifications. Smash that like button as always. Smash it like you're smashing your way through this party going on right here. I'll be back with more vinyl content, more download memory videos, more music video. You name it, we've got it coming, don't you worry. But remember, go and buy vinyl, go and listen to vinyl, and I'll see you all soon.